Here at the Inn, we are a multi-ethnic, multicultural community of college students. We're really hungry、uh, for an authentic relationship with Jesus and those around us. I've seen Jesus work in our community through the staff and the interns that I get to、uh, work alongside with. The staff and our interns create intentional spaces. Uh, in times、uh, for people to be loved on by Jesus, it could be through intentional Welcome Week events that we've set up and welcome、uh, students across the Seattle area. Our community dinner that we set up、uh, was a welcoming space for anybody, no matter what they believed in, no matter what their background was, and they got to have a space at the table、uh, to laugh and to enjoy good food and to belong. If you were a college student and I was inviting you to the end, I would say. Hey, you should come to the end. It's a multi-ethnic, multicultural college ministry that loves everyone and accepts everyone, and they literally just say, "Come as you are." I got invited to come to someone's baptism、um, last February, and then literally, I always say that the rest is history. I came in, was welcomed, was like. Heavily celebrated and embraced, and was just like, "Hey, we love you for who you are." I was just really hungry for a community that was like rooted in something deeper than like academics. Like it's so life giving to be in a place that invites others. We're here for one reason, and that's just to glorify Jesus. And there's such an importance in like reaching other people. This community is just so powerful because you can have other ideas and you can have a shoulder to lean on and.、Um, On days where you can't pick yourself up, you have two other people outside of you, or more, you know, or just another person just to say, "Hey, I got you today." Before finding the end, I like was in a rocky place with my faith. When I moved to Seattle, it was definitely like a shaking of my faith. Like it was like, "What do I really believe in? What am I actually rooted in?" And I was really searching and really asking the Lord, like. When when am I gonna find like that community around me that can like uplift and support? Because like even Jesus had twelve disciples, like he really had his buddies, you know. Like I'm like, I was like, I don't know. I was almost like at this point of like I'm hungry for community and I don't know where else to find it. And so since joining the Inn, I think that I've been able to step into a lot of what I believe like is like my calling because I had a community, a very firm community around me that saw potential in me that I didn't get to see in myself. I don't know. I've just really just been able to step into my person, and I, and I do think that that's like the Lord because I I was afraid. I was I was really scared of like opening up and letting people in, and I was angry. And now I could not imagine myself being any of those things. And so it's been really sweet to like see that transformation like in myself, but also like to have other people witness that and say, yeah, you've also done that. The transformation I've been able to see、um, that Jesus has been able to help us grow through、uh, has been through our interns. I think they've all taken、uh, leaps of faith of of saying yes to this internship first and foremost, and and so far in the past two months they've all grown in their leadership capabilities.、Uh, they've all grown in their understanding of of who Jesus is and how Jesus. Uh, works within themselves and then through them as well. I see Jesus leading this community forward in big and bold ways, and I think the big and bold ways looks like engaging in hard conversations on topics that can be controversial. Big and bold ways as loving people who believe other things. Big and bold ways of loving ourselves in the midst of our own brokenness. Big and bold ways look like a multi-ethnic, multicultural community. That loves themselves well, loves God well, and loves others really well. I see like the Lord really just moving in like community and emphasis on like doing life together because we were never meant to do life alone. It's like really an honor and privilege to be able to do that with others because not only like I don't know it's it's tough to get people to like invite you into that and being able to do that for so many people, being able to be like a light into in so many dark places, especially in the U district. It's Really heavy. I think there's a lot of power when you do ministry like in a healthy way, and the end definitely does that. You can be praying for me and the rest of our staff team as we join Jesus in this mission, and pray that we、uh, really grasp onto the identity of who we are in Christ as we reach out in boldness and、uh, reach out、uh, with courage to extend that invitation for others who don't know Jesus yet into this community, so that they can find the freedom in Jesus.